Well, the NDAA, or uh, National Defense Authorization Act, has been in the news, and we talked with Scooter uh, yesterday about it a little bit, and he was planning on going to uh, the the Board of uh, County Commissioners of Weld County, uh, talking to them a little bit about it as well. And there's been a big hubbub about that. We've talked about how it can infringe on people's rights and how it's making the hair on the back of people's necks stand up. And with us on the line is Jeffrey Hare. He's a candidate for State House Representative in District 48 here to talk about the uh, statement of opposition to the authority of the National Defense Authorization Act. And Jeffrey, thanks a lot for coming on. Great. Thanks for having me, guys. Good morning, Deb and Dallas and uh, well, county um, citizens. And Jeffrey, how did the um, work session go yesterday? You were in front of the Weld County commissioners and they had a work session. How did that go? Um, I think it went great. You know, I just want to commend uh, Scooter for his uh, leadership in the community on this topic. He was the one that uh, encouraged the, uh, the county commissioners to take this, take a look at this issue. Um, so we have a, with Scooter to thank, but uh, thankfully also we've got a great uh, board of county commissioners that, you know, believe in, 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 in protecting constitutional rights. So, um, you know, Bruce did the, uh, the, the, the legal research on this issue and, and has made a recommendation to the county commissioners to adopt this resolution. So what is the next step in this process? Well, the next step is um, the county commissioners are going to be hearing this uh, Monday morning. Um, the, the hearing time is on their website, and uh, the resolution has been placed before and before them. They're going to review it, and I'm, I'm, there's always a uh, potential for a tweak here and there, but it seemed they were very open to, uh, to adopting this resolution and, and taking the leadership on this issue. Now, it appeared um, from what I saw the the work session, there was only one person in any opposition to this, and that was a representative from Cory Gardner's office? Um, I'm not sure she was in opposition of it. I think she just was trying to clarify, you know, the the, the nature of the, the resolution and to get an understanding of the concern of the citizens. Um, I, I haven't talked to Cory um, specifically on this issue, so I, I don't know where Cory stands, but, you know, um, I, I didn't really hear opposition per se. Jeffrey, I, I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head still around who on earth would be for the, this National Defense Authorization Act and, and giving the president the power to throw essentially anybody he deems is a terrorist in prison indefinitely and, and waiving all of their rights. Who on earth would be for a bill like this? Well, that's a good question. I think the the rationalization behind it really comes down to the kind of extension of what happened post 9-11 and uh, the Patriot Act and things. So I think... It, perhaps it was very well intentioned um, in, in in protecting us as citizens, but yet you know we we can't we can't give up all of our rights as citizens um, just because there's a threat to our nation. And I think that's what the people of Old County have been telling me, have been telling the commissioners, and I know that uh, the people on Scooter Show have, have expressed a lot of concern. So this is definitely uh, a, an overreach of uh, and, 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 a, and just a blasting, an overextension of the, the government, and just a blasting of our constitutional rights and. You know, we as citizens in Weld County and throughout the state, I would encourage others to get involved. We've got to push back on this, and we've really got to call for um, some significant changes to these components, uh, particularly Section 1021 and 1022 of this Act. Now, what exactly are those sections? Um, well, it's, it's just sections of the Act, um, and I would encourage people to go read this. Uh, there's, there's a lot of controversy. There's some great articles on the web. Um, that details the specific elements um, within, you know, within these provisions. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's been articles written by For- Forbes. There's been articles written by Human Rights Watch, which is uh, which is backed by George Soros, interestingly enough. And I think even ACLU has come out um, in opposition to this. So this is an is an issue that isn't, you know, a right or a left, a conservative or a liberal, um, Republican or Democrat. This is a core issue that we should all be concerned about. Um, the two big provisions in, uh, that, that are specifically called out for in the uh, in the, uh, the the resolution that the county commissioners are are considering um, relates to the, the the term substantially supported and associated forces, specifically referring to Al Qaeda and Taliban forces. But um, the, the way that the language was done and the way this legislation was passed um, not only leads you to, it leaves this very wide open to interpretation. But the fact that there was an amendment um, um, put forth just to clarify this language and then amendment was shot down gives a whole lot more credence that the intent of the legislation really was uh, to make it broader than, you know, 
specifically the Al Qaeda or Taliban to, to open it up to the rest of uh, to the rest of U.S. citizens or any U.S. citizen. So that's where the, the obviously the big concern comes into play. Even when President Obama was confronted with this, he said, "Well, just because I can throw you in jail doesn't mean I will." And that that just, just absolutely gives me goosebumps. And it's a, it's a very concerning as a citizen of uh, of the United States. And Jeffrey, if somebody wants to get a hold of you and get involved, how do they contact you? Um, well, our campaign site um, is hairforhouse.com on the web, and then it's facebook.com slash hairforthehouse. And, and this has a lot of potential. I think we need to, we need to build some ground wall support for this and really uh, put some pressure on our state legislators to, to step up and do something similar. There's two other counties in, in Colorado that have, uh, that have uh, adopted a similar resolution. So we have uh, the ability um, as Weld County and then as the state of Colorado to really bring this back to, to national attention and and hopefully get you know some language taken out of the original draft that that uh, that protects us as citizens and doesn't erode our rights. Jeffrey, thanks a lot for coming on today. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thanks, guys. And that's hair for house h a r e for house dot com. It's not h a i r. It's h a r e for house dot com. And all this doom and gloom, it can get you down. It really can. But why not come?